Ever wondered who truly holds the reins of control in our society? A provocative question indeed. Picture a vast, invisible tug of war. On one side, we have the governments of our world. On the other side, us, the population. It's a struggle for control, and it's happening every day, everywhere. Governments, in their quest to maintain order and ensure stability, employ a variety of strategies. Some use a soft touch, appealing to our better nature, nudging us towards desired behaviours. Others adopt a more forceful approach, laying down strict laws and regulations, wielding the stick of authority. From the bustling streets of New York to the quiet lanes of rural China, this tug of war is in full swing. But who's winning? And at what cost? Real-world examples around the globe will shed light on these questions. Isn't it intriguing to consider how much of our lives is governed by unseen forces? Stay with us as we explore this invisible battlefield. Imagine a world where your every move is tracked and your behavior scored. This isn't a dystopian novel, but a reality for more than a billion people in China. The Chinese government has rolled out a social credit system, an initiative that tracks and scores the behavior of its citizens. From jaywalking to financial responsibility, from social media posts to the company you keep, the system's all-seeing eyes are constantly watching, analyzing, and scoring. These scores aren't just numbers, they have real-life implications. A high score can mean easier access to loans, while a low score can bar you from certain jobs, travel, or even the internet. But why? The government argues that it's an attempt to build a trustworthy, harmonious society. However, critics see it as a tool of control, an Orwellian mechanism to manipulate and manage the population. They argue that this system infringes upon the freedom of the individual, turning the population into compliant citizens under constant surveillance. And there's this lingering question. What happens when the system makes a mistake? What if you're scored unfairly? With the system's scope and reach, correcting such errors can be a Herculean task, leaving innocent individuals at the mercy of an algorithm. In the name of order and harmony, is such a surveillance system a step too far? But don't be so quick to judge. The West also has its mechanisms. Picture this, a surveillance network so vast and intricate that it could rival any science fiction novel. This isn't just some dystopian future, but the reality of the Western world today. Western governments, particularly those of the United States and the United Kingdom, have long been leveraging surveillance as a means of societal control. You might remember the name Edward Snowden. A former contractor for the US government, Snowden risked everything to leak classified information about the National Security Agency's pervasive surveillance activities. And what a revelation it was, exposing the extent to which the government had its eyes and ears in our private lives, even in our own homes. This surveillance isn't limited to potential threats or criminals. It's you, it's me, it's your neighbor down the street. Our emails, phone calls, even our internet searches, all under the watchful gaze of Big Brother. It's like a digital shadow, always trailing behind us, recording our every move. The implications for personal privacy are staggering. In the pursuit of security, have we traded our right to privacy? Are our daily lives, our thoughts, our conversations no longer our own? This surveillance network, while less visible than China's social credit system, is arguably just as invasive. So the question remains, are we any different from those living under the social credit system? So what does this all mean for us? Well, we've journeyed through the invisible tug of war, shed light on China's social credit system, and taken a deep dive into the surveillance in the West. All these systems, though diverse in their approach, reveal a common thread, the pervading influence of governments over their populations. In China, citizens are rated and ranked based on their behavior, creating a society where compliance is rewarded and dissent is silenced. Meanwhile, in the West, the government's eye watches unblinkingly from the shadows, gathering data and information in the name of safety. These are not isolated phenomena, but part of a global trend. Governments worldwide are employing increasingly sophisticated tactics to control their citizens, often under the guise of protection or progress. It's imperative for us to reflect on these realities, to question, to understand. As we navigate this complex world, it's important to question who is really in control. After all, knowledge is power.